Hey, Vlad here from devinsidey.com. Welcome to another video in the book review series. Today we're reviewing Clean Code. Yes, the Clean Code by the one and only Uncle Bob. Let's get right into it. Now, before we get into this review, I have a disclaimer. Uncle Bob is a very influential figure in the software circles, and I recently noticed that there is a lot of negativity targeted towards him comes with the territory, I guess. And so I'd like to be clear about something. I'm neither going to attack nor defend him. We're not here to discuss Uncle Bob. We're here for a book review. So please leave your prejudice at the door. Cool, so let's begin. Contrary to some popular belief, I am not some programming prodigy. In fact, I haven't started programming before I went to the university, which was in 2008, which is exactly when this book was released. And so it was introduced to me by the same professor, in fact, that I talked about in the previous book review about programming in Scala. This was around 2009, and even though I had only one year of programming experience at this point, I have to say that I could really relate to the lessons in this book. Can you believe this? I was programming only for slightly more than a year, and even back then I could tell good code from bad one. I can't tell you how I did it, it was just a feeling. And so when I read this book all those years ago, I actually almost cried. I admit I'm a very sensitive person, I often cry during movies. I'm also a man enough to admit it. I cry because I guess I'm somewhere on the OCD spectrum. Even today, whenever I read anyone's code, including mine, I notice so many things and I want to move things around. I really enjoy configuring code formatters and other tools to take care of this stuff for me. All right, it's not a therapy session, it's a book review. So what is this book about? Well, it's about the little things and about the fact that little things matter. I've reread the forward to this book before I started writing the script for this video, and so I was reminded about the parallelisms between a software and the traditional architecture. There are many references along the lines of one messy desk ruins a spectacular house. Other examples would be doors not closing properly or door knobs making sounds and etc etc. I'm obviously paraphrasing of course, but the point is that the little things matter. The book is very easy to read and it's mostly focused on code style and code formatting. It also discusses best practices which are commonly associated with the agile movement. I'm talking about the unit tests and TDD of course. But the majority of the book is about naming your variables and functions properly, keeping them small, making sure your code is in the correct place, horizontal and vertical spacing, etc. Et it even touches a bit on systems design and concurrency. The main premise of the book is the observation that you write code only once but you read it dozens of times. Let's be honest, most of what we do is maintenance and even if you do write new code, how are you going to do it without reading and understanding the surrounding code first? And so things like function names, comments, boundaries, error handling and formatting matter a lot. The book could be mistaken for bike shedding but I assure you it is not. When it comes to the target audience, I'd say that this book has a pretty wide range. You could be a senior developer and still benefit from it. In fact, I should probably reread it at some point, it's been a very very long time. Now if you're a beginner, I recommend being familiar with at least one programming language before you tackle this book, because there's a lot of code in there. It's very hands-on. I believe most of the examples are in Java and some examples actually might be in C, but I don't remember. Really, it's been such a long time. I also highly recommend that you read this book after you've seen or maybe even written some production code. This way you will appreciate the lessons of this book even more. What I really liked about this book is how easy it is to read, how detailed it is, and how hands-on it is. In fact, books like this are the reason why most of my videos are actually very hands-on. What I didn't like about this book, which is a common theme throughout my book reviews, is how long it is. Uncle Bob has a lot of knowledge, and in fact, a couple of topics grew out into their own books. Books like The Clean Coder or The Clean Architecture. In all honesty, you can stop reading after completing the 10th chapter or so. It's not that the rest of the chapters are bad, it's, it's more of an opportunity cost thing. Now, same as my previous book reviews, this one is very short and to the point. I give the book a solid 8 out of 10 and it's truly one of those must-read bestsellers. In any case, I see you in the next one and for now, as always, it's been Vlad from devinsidey.com. Don't forget to like this video if you did, subscribe if you want to improve the developer inside you, and if you learned something today, consider supporting me on GitHub sponsors or Patreon, whichever you prefer, and let's watch my videos weeks and sometimes even months before everyone else. And most importantly, take care.